Hi, this is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creation. Today we're going to be doing a UV nail foil pen tutorial. I first seen it on Facebook, Kristen. I wasn't sure if she originally did it or someone else did it, but she was the first person I seen, so I want to give her credit. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. So there's going to be a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need the UV nail foil sheets, the UV nail foil glue, a UV light, UV resin, and a prepped pencil or pen. I am going to do three different brands of, of glue so you can see which one you like best. I had this pack for my nails. This is like a animal skin pack. It is amazing. And I'm choosing this like colorful snake skin for one of my pens. So I actually did purchase something for this tutorial. These are a new thing. It's kind of uh, holographic. I did it on my pencil because they're a lot thinner. Here are the three brands of glue I'm gonna use. I'm gonna link everything in the description, so don't worry. This is my UV light. It's been used for years, so it's not very pretty. I then kind of created this little holder um just on a little box with the pen grips it just kind of helps you be able to hand turn it under the light for the first minute or so um it just makes it a little easier so this is just a bic mechanical pencil you can go back and watch my mechanical pencil tutorial i'll explain how i prep this you can go back and watch my basic pen tutorial on how i prep all my pens here I just kind of cut out my template for my pens and a pencil. So I just did the width versus the height. This kind of just makes it easier to cut out your foils the correct size. Like I said, these ones are a lot thinner, so I'm only gonna use it on my mechanical pencil. However, it's still not long, like wide enough. You'll see what I do to fix it um, towards the end. I kind of make quite a bit of mistakes in this tutorial, but you will. I'll show you how to fix them or how to hide your mistakes. So here I'm just gonna show you which glue I'm gonna use with which pen or pencil. So when you're going through and choosing your sheet, so see this sheet, how it's clear between the flowers. That is gonna be clear on your pen. So if you wanted to have a colored pen background, just make sure it's completely solid and you don't have any patchiness or anything on your paint part, because it will show through. However, my pens are not perfect spray painted, so I used um, a flower pattern that was completely opaque. You won't see the paint underneath the foils. And just as a safety reminder, you need to be wearing gloves and a respirator. This does produce a lot of chemicals while you're working it. I'm allergic to epoxy, so I'm allergic to UV resin, so I am very careful on these steps. So the first thing is just shake up your glue, and then you're going to apply it kind of heavily, like as if you were applying it to your nails, right? So you just wanna make sure you don't have any streaks or anything like that i go all the way from the top all the way to the bottom in long strokes and then just to make sure it's completely covered one more quick around the pin before i put it under the uv light once you have all of your glue on how you want it you're then going to place it in your uv light for 60 seconds this is going to cure up the glue so it becomes sticky. I 
I hand turn it slightly during that 60 seconds just so it gets fully around the entire surface. I have seen people put mirrors under so it reflects back. You can do many things. There are tons of ways to do this. This is just how I originally started thinking of it. I am also going to be buying a UV box for my next advanced video on this once I play around with it a little bit more. Stay tuned. Once those 60 seconds are up, you're going to remove your pen or pencil from under the light. So it actually is best to let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds after you remove it from the light before you add your foil sheets. I did not do this, so I had to use a little bit more elbow grease to get my foils to lay on my pen or pencils a little bit more. Like I said, this is all trial and error. This is me playing around and showing you my mistakes and how I fixed my mistakes once they happened. You're gonna then lay one side along the length of your pen or pencil. Once you touch it down onto that glue, you will not be able to move it again. So this is kind of takes a little bit maneuvering to make sure it is where you want it before you lay it down. So how I did it is I just kind of worked on that one section and then I will work around my pen. There is a plastic carrier sheet that these foils are stuck to. So what you're trying to do is trying to get the foil to stick to your pen or pencil and off the carrier sheet. See how it's just slightly too small even for these mechanical pencils. So I took um, a vinyl scraper and used that all along on that carrier sheet just to get it to release. Another helpful thing is taking a cotton rag or something and using that to add pressure to the top of the carrier sheet while you're rubbing to get it to release. You're gonna to want to do smooth strokes and trying to get it as smooth as possible. If you notice any folding or anything like that, you can slightly fix it, but it's best to try to get it as smooth as possible before you remove the carrier sheet. This is why you take your time when you're first laying it down so you don't have any folding happening. I just take a pair of tweezers, trying to get that carrier sheet edge lifted just a little bit. And then you're going to slowly just remove that plastic backing. If you see any pieces pulling up, go ahead and lay your carrier sheet back down and rub on that spot. If it's sticky from the glue, it will stick to that glue. If you don't have a sticky spot in your glue and your glue is messed up, which I will show you how it messes up and what happens on the next pin. Here, I am just making sure it is completely smooth. And then I'm gonna just trim up the extra along where my pencil pieces go back together because you're gonna need that cleaned up before you can do any other steps. I will show you how I fix that white line that they didn't cover after I do two more pens. So here's the next brand. I have little silicone straw inserts on the top of my pens so it doesn't let epoxy and stuff go inside my pen. However, this did not work with it in the UV light. I didn't realize it until I've done two of these pins. That didn't let the bottom part get under the, the light. So it didn't cure like it should have. So adding more glue didn't help. 
it, <laughs> I will show you how you hide a mistake like this, but the silicone top I should have removed and it will go into the UV light better without that little extra piece. I do do one completely correct and <laughs> towards the end, but these ones were just kind of play around with um, since I had the foils and stuff. So another thing I messed up, these sheets have a slight little edge of clear plastic on them. So if you lay that flat, your other side cannot stick to the glue because now you're going to have a clear carrier sheet stuck to the glue instead of your foil. So this is what I'm doing now as I'm pulling up that carrier sheet on that one side and then I'm trying to lay the other side of carrier sheet trying to cover up that seam. The bottom section, like I said, did not get cured correctly. They, my foil did not stick to the uncured glue. No matter how hard I tried and I worked it and I waited and I rubbed, it never did stick. So like I said, I will show you how to correct a mistake if this happens to you. And it looks like it wasn't a mistake at all. Stay tuned. Remember how I said, rotate your carrier sheet back on your pin and rub on that spot. If it starts peeling up, this is exactly what it is. It will go back onto that glue section and it will stay. Um, you won't mess up your pattern or anything. Be patient when you're removing the carrier sheet. Take your time, be gentle with it. If you try to rush it, you will be peeling some of your foils back up as you're removing your carrier sheet. If you have any extra on your carrier sheet, you can try to piece it together along the seam if there's still glue available. The bottom is sticky still, but it wasn't sticky enough for the foils. Now on to the final brand. You're gonna do the exact same thing. However, I did not realize it was not getting fully cured since I have the silicone topper in the very top. Again, I will show you how I correct this with a different technique. So both of these messed up on the bottom, but both of them I am doing two different techniques with. So I'm going to skip this part, I do the exact same thing as I did the last two. I just doubt you want to watch me do the same thing over and over again. So I will show you the end result after I lay my foil down fully. So I'm doing another pin with a holographic leopard. This is where it dawned on me about it not being inside the UV light very well. So I removed that silicone straw insert out of my top of my pen so it can be in the light fully. This makes a huge difference and I will show you 
how great it looks at the end. I do the exact same thing, except for that glue curing the 60 seconds prior to laying the foil made a huge difference. This pin turned out gorgeous, no issues at all. So again, I am gonna skip this part to keep my video length down so you're not watching an hour of the exact same things. I do the exact same thing, but I will show you the end result here in a minute. So now it is ready for UV resin. I have added that silicone topper inside my pen again, so no resin gets inside where the clicker is. This is my UV resin I love. Like I said, I will link it in the description. You're going to just add very little. So what I kind of do is I kind of spiral it up and then spiral it down. And then you take your gloved hand and smooth it out. You do not need a very thick coat at all. You want to keep these fairly thin, just like you would for normal epoxy. I'm going to then hand turn these under the UV light for the first minute. And then I set them in my little contraption to hold it there and rotate about every 10 seconds or so. I noticed these UV resin pens take quite a while. I redo the cycle about three times on each pen. If it comes out com somewhat tacky, do another round of 90 seconds or so you can take it outside into direct sunlight also if it's tacky there are many different things you can do to help with the tackiness the uv box i did purchase which i will be in my next video on this does help that so i will show you how to do it with the uv box next video So while that's curing, I'm gonna show you how I fixed my pencil and my pens. So my pencil, this is just cut metallic vinyl. Um, I will link exactly the width of it in the description. It was just spares I had from tumblers, but I'm just kind of covering up that section that didn't get covered with the foil. To make it even a little bit more fancy, I'm going to add these teeny tiny nail vinyl strips on the edges just to kind of give it a little something else. So this is completely cured. It's not tacky at all. It looks perfect. I do remove that silicone straw topper and then take a sharp craft knife and cut away. Sometimes it kind of forms like a little edge and I do the exact same thing on the bottom. Be careful not to cut into your pins because you can cut the plastic, but this is how I clean up all of my pins before I put them back together. So I'm gonna put it back on for 90 more seconds just for good measure. Doesn't need it, but it makes me feel better <laughs> making sure it's completely cured. So 
So I'm gonna remove the tape that's taping off the top section of my pencil before I UV resin this. This is just to seal in that tiny little lip that the foils made. It's kind of like sealing in a glitter line on a tumbler, same kind of principle, but you don't want any of your resin or UV resin to go into the inner workings of the pencil. It won't work if it does. So you have to be really careful at this if you remove the tape and don't replace the tape. So this is a really, really small pencil. So you're going to barely put any on it and then you're gonna do the same thing, right? So make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure you don't go over any edges or anything like you don't want your resin to be. Hand turn it for the first minute and then set it in the somewhere to let it cure multiple 90 second increments under the UV light. Now moving on to my first pin mess up where it didn't attach on the bottom, I am going to glitter it. So since that glue is kind of tacky, I'm just gonna glitter right on it and see if it sticks, if what happens with the glitter. It sticks to it fine. Um, I then take um, a piece of wax paper to kind of make sure it's laying flat. And then I wanted a little bit more glitter on it to kind of give it more of an ombre onto the foil itself. So I just take a little bit of UV resin and just kind of rub it in the areas I kind of want the glitter to stick. Be light handed on this. You don't want it too heavy handed unless you're going for the heavy glitter sections. I was going more for a cascading ombre in a way. Make sure everything's laying flat. This will help you to do a super thin coat of UV resin on top. So here I'm going to do a different technique. I'm basically going to do a glitter drip just on the opposite side. So I add a little bit of my UV resin and then I mix my glitter directly into the UV resin. Mix it up and then I'm going to apply it to my pen with it mixed. And then once I have it all on, I'm then going to kind of thin it out just a little bit. So it's going to be the heaviest on the very bottom. And then I kind of pull up a little bit and then let gravity take it. Exactly how you would do for drip pens or pencils. I'm just doing it on the opposite side, on the bottom versus where the clicker is. And then once you're happy with it, you need to have them cure under the light. Since you're using the UV resin as the glue with your glitter, same goes for the last pen I did. It needs to cure before you move on to this step, which is adding your final coat of UV resin onto your pen. Smooth it out with my hand before I add it to the light. Once you add your pen or pencil under that UV light, it starts to cure instantly. 
You can't make any changes once that UV light touches that UV resin. So just make sure it is to your standard. Make sure everything's smooth. There's no big globs towards the bottom, towards the top, things like that that you're not going to be able to change later without sanding and doing another coat. Sometimes you will develop micro bubbles, even UV using UV resin. You can use a torch. This is just a kitchen butane torch. Very quickly, very lightly run it along your pen. You can burn your UV resin exactly how you can burn epoxy. I think all three brands of glue worked the same. It was just user error. But this is probably my favorite glue of the three. I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, please write them in the comments. I will write back. Please like, share, subscribe. It really means the world to me. And thank you everyone for your continued support.